Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Testing Instinct. In this video, I will be discussing about how to use external libraries or any NPM modules like Faker and Bruno. Bruno supports loading any NPM module to use in your scripting workflows. You need to add a packet.json file where your collection is stored. In order to use NPM module in Bruno, you need to be having a packet.json file in your collection location. For this demo, I am using a npm module called faker you can use any npm modules but for the demo i will be using faker to create some fake data in my collection location i have created that particular packet or json file already i will be showing the content of that particular file so i am opening that particular file in my file system so this is the content of the file there is a name for the collection there is a version there is a dependency subject where the fake library and its version is mentioned now now the next step is to use the command npm install i will be providing all these note in the video description so that everyone can copy paste these commands and code now i have to open this collection in command line using the command cmt now i have to use the command npm install just click on enter it will install node modules and package-log.json file. You can see a node module folder has been created and there will be a package.log.json file will be also created. Now next step is to use the script in order to generate the fake data using the fake library. So we have to use this particular code. I am copying this content. I have already opened Bruno. I have created one request called create user using faker data. In the body tab, you can see I have not given any data, but in the script tab, the prerequisite section, I am pasting the content. So, this is the code we have to use in order to generate fake data using faker library. I have required the faker library. After that, I have created two constant random name and random job, which will be creating some fake data. And after that, using the request object which is req, I am calling the setBody method and passing the random name and random job along with name and job keys. Now we have to save the request. And now I am sending the request. See that we have got a user one created status code and we have got this particular response. Now if you hit this request again, you will be getting another set of data. So this will be dynamically creating new sets of data you can see the name value and job value got changed if i hit again those values get changed again so this particular library can be used cases where the duplicate values are not allowed like email mobile number those type of cases we can use fake library to generate fake data so you can hit the api multiple times without changing the payload so the data will be managed by the fake library also now bruno supports dynamic variable concept as well so i have covered that topic already in the playlist you can check that video as well also i will be sharing that link in this video description as well so i hope uh, this session was very useful for everyone if you find this video interesting please consider subscribing the channel please like share and comment on the video thanks for watching and keep learning